Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic numismatic friends. A few weeks back, maybe a month or so back now, I went down to Royal Mint and I met my good mate, Laughter, and he handed me this big, big package of, um, of old scrap coins to make something with. And I've started making a little bit of a project on some of these coins, so, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be another epic video. I've already chose what I'm going to do, and I'm really going to go for it this time. Okay. Hopefully it'll be all finished by Christmas 2022. <laughs> no, hopefully it'll be done soon. Right. Um, and also in this this uh, package there was, um, there was a letter. And we've read this before on the Royal Mint Trip video. And it says, here, here are some fake coins for you to zap with your x-ray gun when you can. Right. Well, and there's laughter's very iconic signature there. Now... I got hold of the x-ray gun again, and uh, let's just have a little bit, let's get, get that out of the way. A, remind, a reminder of what coins you sent. Now, I've taken them out of the, uh, the the packaging because I've actually already zapped them. So I know, I know what these are made out of now. Okay, so there's an old half penny. Or we assume it's an old half penny. And then an old quid coin that we assume is fake then I, of course I've taken them out of the uh, the wrappers to zap but I've popped them back into flips as you would do and there we've got the uh, the navy world war one centenary coin that laughter actually found in one of his coin hunts now, I packed it back in this so so I'll be sending these to laughter at some point and um, and this one the uh, Act of Union from 2007, which I think he purchased from a coin stall hall. Um, and we, we zapped that. I also had some of my own coins. Now, I picked up this coin from a, a local coin, coin retailer uh, in the antique shop. And it's a Magna Carta. And <laughs> it's an absolutely beautiful coin. I saw it and I thought, wow, this is quite pristine. And then I turned it over and it's got the IRB portrait on there. And the price that this was going for was uh, was really, really crazy. Now you might see that video up of when I bought this before before this video. I don't <laughs> I don't I don't know. But I am not I'm not on this video I'll tell you how much I paid for it. I was quite surprised. And I also had a coin which um, which I think I got it off of eBay fairly cheap. And it's a claim of right. So it's the very scarce old two pound coin. But if you look at it, it does look, you know, not in the best condition. It looks, you know, in similar condition to this. So is this a fake? Did I purchase a fake? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I do know now, actually. But uh, I'll wait for you to get into the video to, to make up your own mind. And then remember a couple of till raids ago, a couple of months back, actually. We found um, we found this proof like um, 50p the EEC stars. So do it? Is it silver? That's the big question. Okay, right. So they're the coins that I'm going to test. I'm going to get over now and uh, edit in the the, um, the the PMI analyzer, and uh, I'll join you on the other side. So we'll start off. Which one? Go, go for that one then, mate. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can uh, get it under. Don't know what that was. What it's coming up with first? There's a load in that one, isn't there? So that's it. Let me just take a photo of that one. It just goes on. It, has, it doesn't match, there's a material match, but then it loses it. Well, that cold there, yeah. that just came out. <laughs> ah, yeah, C844RDBS. Oh, look what that is. Look what that's. Copper, lead, zinc. Copper, lead, and zinc. Iron. <laughs> I don't know what it's meant to be, actually. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, well, we can research that one. I've never seen that before, that card like. 
We'll go, see, we'll go for this coin next then. This sub B. Um, copper, no, nickel brass. This one, old good coin. Which. So zinc and copper men yeah, last, yeah, don't they? Um, That's again. C, C, C. Ah, yeah. So that could be a, that could be a genuine one then. Yeah. See, that's another card I've never seen. C two seventy. Just looks a bit, a bit dodgy. Yellow brass. Yep. Oh right, so it's brass. 270 yellow brass, 65%. Which <laughs> is right, 65%. Copper, so that's your yeah, yellow brass. Right. Uh, we'll go for one of these fake ones. I'll, I'll pop them back in. You're best off in the centre of these then, are Ah, if you do centre, and then... If it's dual now, you can try and get... Copper. That's C seven ten. That's eighty twenty. Nickel copper. So that yeah, like eighty percent. So yeah, say it again. Eighty twenty. Yeah. Which is it's giving up seventy seven twenty two, but it's picking up all sorts of different little things. We'll try and get that out of the edge. Ah yeah. You can see it in that camera. Yeah yeah. You can see it where I can see where it says pound. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I'll try and. So that's got that's got zinc in it. <laughs> mm. oh, there's all sorts yeah, of that. So that's in that yeah. <laughs> we'll go for this one. How oh, you found this one in a in a bag of coins. Looks all right on one side, but it should have an edge inscription on it. it it's oh, not, right. and then the other side looks a bit <laughs> crazy, so. Neobium. Neobium. An exotic material. Straight on the face. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me, Your Majesty. Where I've seen. Oh no, that's, that's, that's religion, isn't it? Why should you head at church? What's that got in it? It's just that mostly copper, that. Copper and zinc, bit of nickel. <laughs> so we can conclude that's a fake, because that yeah. should have been. Let's get that edge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm picking all sorts up. Mr. Mile Long on that one, isn't there? What? Hey, you, you've got a bit of gold. Is that gold paint? Golden lead paint in that, then? Hey, you's gold, isn't it? Um, well. Lead is uh, PD, AG as well. A it's AG silver. I think it is, isn't it? Oh, half of them are. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not the same as that two quid kind that we no. got last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Idea, gold. Mm -hmm. Bit of, bit of paint, probably. Yeah, gold, goldy paint. Yeah, so. But that is like my new. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll get. Give this one a go. So, so I bought this. I think, you know, cheap, but it's a claim of rights, which is, you know, one of the rarest two quids yeah. you can get. What, so, should, what should this be? This, it, it should be nickel brass. 
So it just looks wild. Brass is an ally of um, zinc and copper. So that's red. Yeah. Zinc and copper and nickel. Yeah. And a few trace elements of other bits and bobs, but yeah. nothing much. Just manganese and a bit of iron. So that's genuine. I'm, so, yeah. so, so I'm happy at that one. Right, we'll try this one. I'll, I'll pick this up for four quid. But I mean, it looks the biz. Just, uh, so middle should be nickel, Cooper nickel, yeah. which it is. Yeah. And edge should be again nickel brass. No good. Yeah. Zinc, copper, yeah. and nickel. Yeah. And trace elements are. Ah oh, yeah, so that's a, that's another genuine one. Right, this this one here found when I was down in Norfolk, and it could be just a, a normal. It's got like a frosted effect, which you only get from sets. Right, right. But they also do silver <laughs> silver ones like that. So if it's just a normal coin, it's a bit Cooper nickel, and if it's silver, well, <laughs> drinks on me. Yeah. There you go. Oh, right. Okay, so it's cool, put it. Jigs are on me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just a normal. Yeah. 50 pence, please. Wow, wow, wow. Nice one. So, yeah, well. Uh, Happy? Uh, yeah, nice one, pal. Thank you for that. I'll get, I'll get them sent back down to laughter and uh, give him news. And <laughs> I can uh, pop these in collection. Aye. Uh, Cheers for that, mate. Anyway, no worries, happy days. How did you find that, folks? Quite interesting, yeah. Yeah. Big thanks to to Bez and his uh, and his excellent X-ray gun. Really did uh, help us out here. So so let's go through Laughter's coins then. So obviously this is a fake, and it's got a mixture of all sorts in there as well. You know, it's just basically the shavings from the machine shop floor that have gone into into coins like this. Surprisingly, I had um, gold paint and silver paint on this, which is quite interesting, as well as a bit of lead thrown in there as well. This is just yellow brass, so there's no nickel content in that at all, so it's just a brass coin, basically. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what this is, the makeup of this, but it's a bit of all sorts. I think there's some lead in this as well, but um, the, uh, the on-screen, on um, Annotations will let you know, but yeah, possible fake. But this is the most interesting one from from Laughter's haul. The makeup of this is, you know, as close to a genuine coin as you can get. Doesn't mean to say that it is a genuine coin. Somebody could have just used copper, uh, nickel, uh, zinc, and, and all those other um, elements to make make this coin. But it could be just that it's a really badly struck coin it could have just rattled around um in the uh, in the machine i don't think it would have done uh, if you can see I, I don't know if i can get get close enough under the neckline let me get a i've got a stick oh, under the neckline just here you can see what looks like a die crack but that does look horrible the queen's face on there does look horrible and does look fake and the the uh, the edge inscription does look pretty pretty grim as well could it have been sonic cleaned or ultrasonic cleaned or whatever they call it i don't know i don't know but the makeup is that of a two pound coin doesn't mean to say that it's genuine but uh, it, it indicates that way right so my coins really the claim of rights is a genuine coin it just it's probably been washed about on a on, on a shark or something like that it just look like it's been sandblasted but it is a genuine claimer right so i'm happy at that the uh the magna carta is a genuine coin which i again obviously i'm happy about i wasn't going to test this but i picked it up relatively close to having the gun so i thought why why not we'll just uh, we'll give it a bash 
But yeah, that that is an ex excellent looking coin, isn't it? And then unfortunately, the EEC, uh, you know, twenty fifth anniversary of the, you know, the entry into the EEC is is not. Is it twenty fifth anniversary coin? I don't know. Can't remember. It's just the EEC stars. It's not a silver proof. It's just copper nickel. So it's. I don't know what we call that proof like. I'm not sure. I don't know. But yeah, very nice coin. So yeah, some quite interesting, quite interesting uh, finds there. A big thanks again to Bez. Thanks to Laughter as well for sending me these. And um, yeah, did you find it interesting, my fantastic friends? Let me know. And which which was which coin did you find most interesting to test? You know, you know. Is, I, I think this one is very intriguing. Very intriguing. Anyway, I've rattled on enough. So until next time, you take care of the Sen, stay safe, and as always, have the Sen an happy day.